Hello Stampers, this is Janet Ayala. I am with the Card Loft and uh, I am back to do some more um, Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. So I already did one video earlier and I showed you this month's Paper Pumpkin and um, all the good stuff that comes in it. All these goodies. I'm going to change my camera. See all these and more um, goodies that come in your set. So. I'm really excited with this kit because so many possibilities and so many fun things that you can do. I already showed these um, cards and I, I added some embellishments to them and stuff. So this is on my last video that I showed um, some of the um, alternatives that I made. And I showed you on that video what I use and how I did them. Um, and so I'm going to show you what the ones that I'm, that I did, um, that I, I keep doing. I just kept on adding some more to them. So these are the ones I just finished. And now I'm going to show you the ones that I um, am working on. That I just finished working on. So these are the new ones. So I made this one using the um, pattern paper that comes in there to make the little cracker um, boxes. I used the edgelet of that in orange with uh, this actually is pumpkin pie pumpkin pie and then I used one of the pumpkins I used a piece of twine around this area here and then I put one of the smaller pumpkins there the bigger one here with dimensionals this is here with dimensionals and this is one of those die sets that comes in that kit with the square stitched the square stitched dies um this here this one here the second one i did that and then i used this stamp set to do my sentiment with uh, with the beautiful autumn okay so that's this card nothing much fancy but it's just um very simple okay and then i did this card this one is very simple this is um also stitch dies I'm using I think I used this one here this fourth one uh, right here on the outside I'm not sure if you can see that and then I put they have the stamp set that comes with the kit it has a pumpkin see this little pumpkin it has a pumpkin so I uh, I put the pumpkin this is um, crumb cake and I use crumb cake on crumb cake. So this is crumb cake ink on the background. And then I kind of, um, I don't know if you can tell, but the pumpkin that comes with the set, it has this little white trim and I didn't want to have that white trim too much. So I kind of trimmed it away from both of these pumpkins to kind of just leave the orange mostly. <clears throat> and so that's what you see. I've, I've cut it off here and they try to cut it off there and then again I used um, the same stamp set but this one life is better with you and I stamped it there and this one is not the stitch dies this one is this one here the stitch so sweetly and I used the second one right here for that little frame there in the middle very simple very elegant i think it was really cute i like it okay and then i did this card here for this one i used the leaves and i did basically the same kind of layout as this one with the stitch dies here in the background and but i did it this is cajun um uh what is it cajun craze yeah cajun craze this one is paper, uh, pineapple not pineapple <laughs> pumpkin pie and so i did the stitch dice on this one and then i again used the pattern paper with the scallop edge on on this one and then i used the dies these dies these two right here to make these this layer with some cajun craze ink and then of course those are our little leaves and stuff that we have there from the kit this one was simple as well and it's on a white it's for white cardstock okay so that's that one 
and then this one's another simple one too um this is old olive and i put the little leaves there in both sides of that paper and i use like another stitch die another um another another um die from here for that little frame and then i um used um the this one here so sentimental this um the stamp set okay to make that and the same thing for this i use this um i can't thank you enough for this um label stamp set and then i use this one here and this one is again simple i haven't even lined it with anything just basically to the front so it's old olive with all the leaves that come with it and then this is cajun crunch i keep saying crunch but it's uh cajun craze okay <laughs> sorry all right and then i made i had i always do scrappies i love doing um cards with the scrappies strips it's just awesome and then this sentiment this was really easy i used um you know this green here is the green that comes from from the actual strips um these strips i kind of cut the edge here on this side and on this side on all of them i had like four of these so i called all of the edges on both of those and i used those edges those are these yellow and the green and then in the background we have paper, uh, pineapple pie i mean pumpkin pie in the background and then this is the the little boxes for the pattern paper that comes with the set okay and the pumpkin is there this is just a regular twine the white I th that comes with it i kind of just tangled it all up it's all messed up now but it'll it'll survive <laughs> so that's the one that comes with it and then this one is a die set from um which one? oh that's from this one a stamp set from where is it oh this one hi there pumpkin isn't that cute i love it it's so cute <laughs> and so um that's what i use for this one okay and then for my last card this, this one's really easy this if you if you can tell it was the the i when i punched this one out i had I had an edge le left, so I used that there in the center. I don't know if you can see that. And then when I punched this one out, I had another edge left. <laughs> so I used it up here to the outside of that one. And then I put a pumpkin there with dimensionals. And I did this sentiment here from So Sentimental. And the dies that go with it and the little small die right here. Um, not the small one but the next to the small that's the one i used for this sending healing hugs and this this one's really really simple as well okay i hope you like my cards i hope you get to come back and see more i am going to continue working on these this kit has so many options please do go by my page in instagram and check me out um like my page if you like what you see and leave me comments tag me if you have some um some that you have made that look like mine and um leave me a message that you saw my video on youtube i'll be excited <laughs> and so um you can share what you have and i can see everybody's goodies okay all right thanks for coming by have a good night bye